Hi, I'm Ritika Khattar, and today we will delve into the art and works of Paresh Mehdi, one of the most eclectic superstars of Indian art world. Paresh Da, we would love to know about your childhood. I was born in a place called Tamluk. It's about 90 kilometers southwest of Kolkata. My first interaction about art, it was how the people they make the beautiful idols. The way they were applying color, they were applying clay on the murtis. That was my learning. That was the first school first for you. School, first education for me. Maybe sometimes sit down and you know see the beautiful landscape, trees, how the wind is moving, how the water is shimmering. There are a lot of boats. So all that played uh, in your art a big part. Today you do a lot of water and a lot of water bodies and boats. How can I forget that? I grew up with that. That's me, that's my life. When you must have told your parents about your interest in art, what was their reaction? My father was a government clerk. We were six, you know, like four brothers, two sisters. Okay. We don't know that how you will be able to you know, earn money to eat. My father said that if you used to do anything of yourself, you can get out from the house. I wrote a letter, I really ran away from home. I came to Delhi. I had no idea why I came you to Delhi. You didn't know anybody in Nobody, Delhi? Nobody, nothing, no clue. But anyway, after one and a half months, I went back. Mothers told me that if you wanted to do that, you could have told me quietly. So my role was very clear. I went quietly and joined Government College of Art and Craft in Kolkata. So you joined college again to learn art? I had no money to stay in Kolkata, so I used to travel every day. Coming and going, total about 200 kilometers. So eight hours I used to travel. It was fascinating, that uh, journey every day. It's like a novel, like a story. That you're known to be a master of watercolors, what are the challenges that you face? I was doing watercolor because a piece of paper and a little bit color was the cheapest thing I could get because I had no money. So a lot of my older watercolors, you will see the painting both sides. Isn't that something that Van Gogh also used to do? 99% artists, they did not, they struggled, they did not have money. Watercolour is a very difficult medium to It is the most difficult medium because there is no rectification. Yeah. And uh, they are, you start and you finish. Either you succeed or you are failure. And also, as you know, watercolour, you cannot do such a bigger size. But from the beginning, I wanted to do bigger watercolour. Paper, I could not get. Now I do 10 feet watercolour, one sheet. Paper comes from France, from Italy, specially made paper. Tata, when you're doing a watercolour, how do you begin with it? Do you already have an idea of what you're going to do? Absolutely, you have to be clear. And a single second, some mistake, you have gone. When did the shift from watercolours to oils happen? In government art college, we were taught more how to handle the oil pigments. Because oil has a lot of freedoms. You can go to any size. Oil you can overpaint, underpaint. You also do a lot of uh, canvases with women sitting in groups and just talking, you know, very vibrant colours they're wearing, very sharp features. That has come, you know, early 90s. I would say my first travel to Rajasthan, and in Rajasthan, it is like a riot of colors. That really haunted me, and that color came into my art. And painting became figurative from landscape. Before traveling to Rajasthan, I was predominantly a landscape painter. Yeah. We have so much more to ask Paresh Mehti, but more of that in our next segment in Behind the Canvas.